Hello and welcome back to Alex Goes Sailing. I've awoken and uh, not quite so sunny anymore. It's definitely greyed out. Consistent wind, still a little gusty, but I think we can head out. Um, tide's still dropping. You see it's a lot of that beach, whereas before that wasn't so much. You will never believe what happened. I was just about to pull up anchor and set off. Look at me outboard. Can you tell what went wrong? Plastic snapped right in half. As I was starting it, crunch. Clearly not strong enough for the job. The outboard probably went in that deep until I could pull it out for maybe a fraction of a second. This fuel hose is very strong to pull on. Um, I'm just gonna take the bracket off, hang it on the side, and then cover it in fresh water. Try and clean it. So that means we're gonna have to go to the backup plan which is Harbour Master. Come give me a tow up to the slipway in Salcombe, which is just around the corner. Then I'll get a taxi back round to Dartmouth, pick up my car and trailer, come down here and pick it up on the slipway. Now, high tide isn't until a little bit later. Um, and I don't know how good the slipway is. It looks very good on the map, so we'll have to see. But yeah, what a drama. What a drama. Right, I've given it a rinse out, some water flung out of the spark plug hole. Uh, I've checked the oil, still looks quite oily, but I do want to change it. Luckily, I have all of the spares on board because I have a spare service kit the entire time. So, yeah, when I get it back to the uh, marina or the harbour, I'll see if I can run it up, get it warm up a bit and uh, dry it out. And then full service, I think, and a couple of flushes, flushes of oil. Um, I didn't go in for too long, so I don't think it'd be too bad. And I've drained it all with fresh water, and then I've got some WD-40 and just squirted it everywhere, just to stop it from rusting. So we want to keep it nice and clean like this is. That's the culprit there. I haven't been too happy with that outboard band, funnily enough. And I thought the uh, bolts and metal would probably fail before the plastic did. But, clearly, it's just too much sheer force on that, so it's a... Uh, to shear right off, right along the crack there. Probably have to upgrade that to wood or something. I think wood would be a much better bet than plastic. It's probably like HDP plastic or something similar, I'm assuming, um, just by the color of it. So, yeah. I could probably still mount the outboard on either side of the bolts, to be fair. But anyway, we're gonna, I've got the fenders out, got some mooring lines, and the guy's just coming down now, because I heard it on the radio. So we'll go down to the actual marina and uh, then I've got to find a taxi to get over to Dartmouth, which shouldn't be too bad, and uh, hook up the trailer and bring it down here. Now the kind people in the Harbour Master Authority said I can just pull the boat out for free since uh, I've had problems with it. So I've missed out on one good day of sailing because uh, the weather today was quite a nice sail, I think it looks like. So yeah, nice and windy. Um, but anyway, it's gone grey and cloudy now, so I'd say best bet, get back to the marina as well as pulling the boat out because high tide, it's getting almost low tide now. High tide today is not till 9 or 10 o'clock so we could try and pull out then, maybe a little bit before. So I think this slipway goes a bit deeper than the other one. So we might be right in that respect. Um, but yeah, I've just got to go get the car and trailer. And I think that's the harbour master coming around there in his little boat. Right, I'm just packing on the boat to lock it all down. Uh, we're gonna take the tender over here with a bit of wind coming down the current to the dinghy dock over there, tie up and uh, leave that alone and uh, get a taxi. Taxi's meeting me at the butchers, apparently. I'm gonna bring in the tiller pilot and stuff like that, anything out here that I don't wanna be out. We picked up a mooring ball, so that's nice. Uh, might throw another line on it just in case. I think I can still Go for a swim though, later. I think I do want to go for a swim. I think how nice the beaches here. 
absolutely lovely. at the uh, marina now, got Brutus hooking up to the trailer. But one thing I did see over here was this trailer sailor. Now I've never seen one of these before, a Coast 250. So I'm assuming 25 meters. Looks very nice, a little swim deck kind of thing at the back. Looks like some sort of twin rudder, swing keel possibly. Windows all around the front, nice protected cockpit area. Looks very cool. Let's go hook up Brutus and get this show on the road. Just like that. We're gonna put some extra straps on this trailer, or the dolly that's on the trailer. Make sure she's strapped down properly. But yeah, should be good to go. And uh, the boat's ready over there, so we're gonna bring this round and get it back on. So that's all packed up now. That guy's all good to go. Um, I just gotta head home now, really. Um, I think I'll be upgrading the outboard mount to probably two inch plywood or something nutty. I uh, don't want that happening again. Outboard, I'm gonna service that when I get back, but it should be good because I cleaned it right up immediately. Only was in for like a second at best. So time to get a rig on. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoy this adventure, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. You must be blinded by the lights We came to shine here Watch it look daytime in the night We bring the vibes here